What's going on guys? Welcome back to Break It With Brandon. I'm your host, Brandon Adkins, and today we're gonna bend it. We decided we're gonna put together a few custom pipe benders. So in usual fashion, we're gonna test out a few different materials. Today we've got ABS, we've got Onyx, and we have Onyx with fiberglass. So we're gonna start with our ABS model here, and clearance was a little tight on this one, so we've already got a little bit of delamination going on, which is a good thing for you guys, because I have a feeling this thing's gonna break. See how it works. Well, we bent the tube, but this thing's not gonna last very long, so why don't we try the Onyx part next? Well, we got this thing nice and twisted up. I'd say the Onyx part is gonna last just fine. So, overall, pretty impressed with this one. Let's see if we can bend something a little bit stronger. Oh, that's a lot tougher, i tell you that much. Pretty impressive. Solid steel, no problem for the onyx part. We're gonna step it up just a little bit further though. 3 8 solid steel zinc plated. Oh, sweet. Shoot it right off. All right, so it did just fine on the quarter inch, but we're not gonna do so well on anything larger than that. So we might have to step it up just a little bit further see how we do with a fiberglass version of this part. All right, so we know the Onyx part does pretty well on most of the steel applications. So we're gonna go with the Onyx and fiberglass. We're going straight for the 3 8 stainless. So let's see how it works. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh. Ooh. All right, guys. Something that we all need to take into account with any 3D printed parts. If you're gonna use these things for strength applications, make sure you've got the proper setup on your parts. So something that we could have considered here, we've got a location where this thing just sheared right off, but uh, we could have bolted right through that section, get a little bit of compression on there, hopefully give it a little bit more strength. Something you need to think about with different methods of manufacturing. So we could have done a little bit better, but we got to break some stuff. I want to see it like blow up. It's hot. Woo! There we go. So, Let's go ahead and break down what just happened. As you saw, we had a ton of fun with our uh, 3D printed pipe benders. Super awesome idea, a tool that, you know, anybody that's, you know, running conduit or anything like that, you're gonna need a pipe bender, so why not try to make your own? So the examples that we came up with work pretty well with uh, quarter inch tubing, so that's where we started. But of course, we wanted to work in a couple of other ideas just in case we needed some more strength. So starting with our ABS part. Now, as I mentioned previously, this thing kind of was doomed to begin with. Uh, the clearance was a little too tight. We should have considered that for our application with the handle that we were gonna to attach to this. So we did get a bit of delamination, as you can see here, as we started to kind of fit this onto the handle. Didn't hold up too well under the conditions for actually bending the tubing. However, I will say that versus the other two uh, models that we had. The failure point is a little bit different in this case. As you can see, we'd kind of expect that here. But overall, not really going to last very long here, so better step it up to a different material like Onyx. And I was actually really impressed with this one. Um, we kind of really took this one out of commission earlier on in the video. But overall, I would say it held up pretty well for the application it was designed for. Quarter inch tubing, it's gonna have no problem using this material 
Um, we could get multiple bends out of it, as you saw in the video. But uh, as we started to use the larger stock, obviously not quite designed for that application. So it did fail, but overall, pretty impressed with the Onyx part. Then, of course, we've got our fiberglass reinforcement. And my thought here was we did okay with the Onyx part. Let's just go straight for the 3 8 um, steel stock there, see if we can bend it straight away. And that was kind of a mistake. This one failed a little bit early. So as I mentioned previously, the biggest thing to consider here is how are we going to use this part with respect to how it's manufactured. The thing we have to consider with additive manufacturing is delamination is one of our pretty common failure modes. So of course, like I mentioned before, we could take into account the design of that failure point now that we kind of know where it's potentially going to fail, maybe change the geometry a little bit, or something that can be really handy, especially with additive parts, we've got some flexibility for how we can actually add some strength to this. Not only can we do the fiber reinforcement with our Mark II, but we could also consider adding some additional geometry there for something like a through bolt. I could actually get a little bit of compression in that area to add some strength just by adding a fastener through that location. So definitely something that you know, we could consider now that we've done some prototyping on this part, we've got some other methods for how to add strength to it. So some different ways that you can approach it. Um, ultimately, that should end up pretty well, but overall pretty impressed with the Onyx material in general. So hopefully you guys got some good information out of this episode and saw some pretty cool applications for some new ways to use tooling in different materials with additive manufacturing. Be sure to stick with us for the next episode. We've got something exciting to explore with you guys. If you've ever had those hard to reach places where you just needed a leg up, we've got some ideas for you. So we'll see you on the next episode.